All right, it was a good scrimmage. Um, we had a, we got through it really unscathed, um, so that, that's good. Um, hopefully, we'll that happen after the scrimmage. Sometimes something shows up, but it looked like everything was good there. And uh, we did every situation from overtime to four minute to everything, so we got a lot done. Um, the referees met with our players today. We already had the Pac-12 cr crew this weekend, so they meet with them and show everything. So um, I thought all that went well. I wanted to kind of share some of the playmakers groups that. Um, yeah, that. Um, we had uh, uh, Bobo made a touchdown down in, in our overtime period. Um, our field goal kickers kicked well today um, um, and on some different things. We, we did all our special teams. I thought the, the coverage units and the punt unit looked good today, so we did all of that. Um, uh, we had a couple of good runs. Fontenot had a couple, uh, one good run. Um, Michael Atkins had a really good run. Um, I thought there were some big plays made there. Defensively, um, Dante Sparacco had a sack. Uh, I thought that uh, – Trey Udofia played well at corner. Uh, so I thought those guys kind of stuck out. You know, we'll see other things on film. But I thought that went well. Uh, uh, Evan Worthington made a phenomenal play on a fourth down play. Showed his unbelievable speed, uh, which is a great play on defense. Your kickers, uh, is that still an ongoing competition? Yeah, it is an ongoing competition. But we kicked a lot today. And I tried to put pressure on them and try to do some different things. Um, and uh, so I thought that went well. And our kickoff, we want to do kickoff quite a few times today. Um, that would be James's first time to ever kick off in a stadium or anything, and he did a good job. We had the referees explain all the mechanics to him, and I thought that went real well. You said you don't like it when one side dominates the other. Right. Are you still seeing plays from yeah, both sides? Yeah, I saw plays on both you... sides. Um, I really did, which was good. Um, and I thought that um, everybody had, um, made – both sides made plays. Both sides had their ups and downs, and which was good. Um, and we and got the scenarios of the game going um, with the referees running it in the clocks substitutions and everything they threw the flags on all that stuff we didn't have a ton of flags but a couple of them were great teaching moments we could stop teach what happened um, let had the referees come in and talk to them about what happened so I thought that was really good well, you, you know? always look for intensity but as you're moving now three weeks out you, you try to be increase the intensity in terms of the mental pressure and what they're going to experience in games Is that kind yeah of that's process? kind of what today was we had all the game stuff like it was a, 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 a game to try to put that pressure on them um, you know even we Started in the indoor, and then I brought them down the hallway and kept the door shut and played music to make them feel like it was a game situation, put a little, make them a little more nervous, uh, so to speak. Um, so I thought all that, yeah, we do put pressure on them to do that for sure. In, in what areas are you better than last year's team? You look more athletic, more talented, it's raw uh, talent. Um, I, I think that uh, we're, we're similar to last year's team. I still say, say the same thing I said coming out of spring practice. I think that um, defensively. We won't be quite as salty early as we were last year because we just, but we've got really, we got some really good players. But it'd take them a while to kind of, those other guys could correct themselves in the middle of a drive. That's going to be a little bit harder. Um, they'll get that after the first few games. Uh, our offense should, I think, should be the best offense we've had since I've been here in five years. Uh, I still feel that. So that's where we're going to have to win a little different than we did last year early on because that's where our strength was. Last year, our strength was we had a good offense. You know, that scored the most points in 15 years, but I thought our defense was a little bit more dominant. Now I'd say it's just a little bit of edge to the offense. And then I think our special teams are going to be better. I like our schemes. I like what we're doing. I feel good. Our punter's punting better. Our kickers are kicking better. Our long snapper is his first time to ever snap in a game. And last year was a CSU game. He's, you know, he hadn't, really hadn't had a bad snap. So, um, and I feel like we have more guys for speed and stuff on the special team. So. With Bryce Bowie, you've mentioned the difference playing-wise, just the fact that he was healthy. Right. What have you seen different in him as far as his attitude and maturity? Um, well, you know, he stayed healthy again. Um, you know, he's um, competing hard. Um, you know, he, he blocks well all the time. I just kind of see his whole game has gone up in every area a little bit. He looks like, to me, he's a little faster. He's bigger and stronger. Um, so that'll make him a little more powerful. Um, so I, I feel good about it. He made a nice catch today for a touchdown and then ran through a tackle which he's done in the past, but I think he'll do it even more because he's, he's more powerful. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.